What's up guys? For those who haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe. I promise you won't regret it. For those who have subscribed, welcome back to the channel. So I didn't plan on picking up the camera just yet. It is pretty early in the morning still. It's probably like 10 o'clock, 10, 18. Really quick, I just want to go over a couple things. For one, my hair's a mess. I don't know why I woke up like this. But no, really, the EJ, I've been working on it for a while. I haven't really said much about it because I don't think it's very important. But if you guys want an update on the EJ and what's going on with it, let me know down in the comment section below. I've got, I've been working on it just a little. I blew the engine last year. I'd never really got to working on it. So I didn't really want to film content for it, but I put an engine back in it. Recently, my brother helped me. And like I said, I didn't really want to film it because I didn't think it was very important. If this engine doesn't work and if this engine blows, I'm probably gonna drop a K-Series in it. I plan on pulling the K-Series out of the EP3 later and dropping a k24 right now it has a base k20 from like japan it's like the japan version of a k20 a3 so it's not really powerful it makes about 160 horsepower and so it's just a good daily driver in the ej i've got a b18 a1 high compression somebody built it i'm not sure what's done to it somebody else put it together i have no idea what the details are i had got a good deal on it so i went to go pick it up really quick i'm just gonna go over exactly what every car needs just to kind of keep up to date exactly what i'm doing like i said really quick this has some idle issues not really sure what's wrong with it needs tires for sure needs a whole exhaust right now i only have the headers and it's really freaking loud so i can't really drive it anyways ep3 for some reason it's having really bad idle issues like, ever since i installed the ac for some reason it doesn't like staying on with the ac on so i have to figure out that idle issue i also need tie rods i already ordered those i'm just waiting for them they should be here later today the e46 needs a clutch and i think that's right about it this is also gonna get a cover change as of right now i don't think it's too bad because there's nothing special right now nothing really extra the inside i'm pretty sure this is locked yeah but the inside is completely gutted out for those of you who didn't know the only things that i left was like basically from this half of the car forward but from this half of the car back everything is completely stripped out now the e90 i really have no idea what i'm gonna do with this i have put quite a bit of money into it and it's still got a long way to go i'm still making payments on this so i can't get rid of it anytime soon i kind of want to do wheels kind of don't want to put more money into it anything that i do spend on it i would rather pay it off it has 186,000 miles but yet does not burn any oil and it has all of its power still still has a long life ahead of it also another one that i have and i keep forgetting about actually is this beast right here this was my dad's square body so he pulled the engine out of this and he put it in a four-wheel drive chevy that he picked up off of the facebook market i believe this was running really well but since he needed a four-wheel drive pulled the engine out of this and dropped it in that and so i asked him how much he would sell me this shell for because it's literally got nothing yeah the hood isn't even latched in but it doesn't have anything like at all I need, literally need to work on this to make it run again. I went last weekend to the junkyard to look for parts for the EP3. And while I was there, I found some V8s in some older trucks. And I had to ask how much a V8 was because one, I kind of want a V8 swap the E46 depending on how long this engine lasts. Two, because this truck does need another engine. But as of right now, those are all my projects. I've got a lot going on. Like, I've got a lot going on. So I really... I really gotta find time for everything. And little by little, I'm gonna be working on everything. I will see you guys here later when I go to the meet. Bro, this construction is gonna fuck me up. I'm already ready late. I still gotta wash the car, I gotta pump gas, and I gotta go do one other thing, but I forgot what it was. I was waiting all day, and I'm still late. Like, I don't know why this happens to me. Just left town, like I said, I gotta go pump gas. So I'm gonna pick up the camera once I get to Boise.
Anyway, so I hope you guys like that GoPro content. If you guys want to see more of that, go down and let me know in the comment section below. I'll do a lot of installs with the GoPro. But like I said earlier, I'm late for the meet. A lot of people are telling me it's getting packed. So I want to get there soon. We're not that far. We're only like five minutes away maybe. That's why I came to this car wash. Let's head there right now. The parking garage was really full. So I had to park out here in the middle of nowhere. I don't know how far of a walk I have. I think it's actually like a good three blocks. There's quite a bit of people here. I'm not going to lie. So car but I don't even know where I think I already ran out of garage space people crossing the street Downstairs. I did not know about this. I thought it was all up. But here we go. Kind of wish I would have drove. Kind of wish I should have drove down here. I'm tired of walking. Dude, I want one. When'd you get it? Uh, probably like two months ago. Oh. I just put this kid's up now. He went to copy and say, um, put an eBay fucking blow up on the substitute. What are you lowered on? Uh, just lowering it. I want to go a little bit. Dude, if you get coils, get BC. Crowd killer. Adrian's car. Where's Adrian? You want an Evo? Not sure if I'm gonna get it. 
Definitely want a GTR. I have to make it work. I'll get one one day. What's next? Uh, I don't know yet. Maybe some wheels. No. If I find the right ones. <laughs> Dude, wheels are so hard to find. Yeah. Did I just get a fucking ticket? Bro, I really just got a ticket. For parking this freaking parking spot. I can't believe I got a ticket. What is this? I didn't even know I had to pay. There's just you just enter. I kind of saw it coming, but at the same time I was hoping I didn't. But right now everybody's gonna go do the loop, so that's where we're going. Adrian gave me a ride because it was a long ass walk to my car. So, so shout out to him. Yeah, everybody's going to the loop, so that's where I'm going to, I guess. guys so i just got home it's 1 30 in the morning i had a long drive i mean it was pretty good there was a lot of cars there's a lot more than what i expected but everybody says that it was a lot better last year but i wasn't here last year so it doesn't really matter i guess but i think the meet was pretty good there was quite a few cars and quite a bit of attention those gtrs just really made me want one little by little we gotta work for it after seeing all those gtrs and really made me want one i've been wanting one for like a long time now i really want the r35 the r35 to me is just like the cleanest car ever and it's uh, kind of like a milestone for me i see it as a really high goal and i'm pretty sure that i could reach it you know just something that i gotta really work for but like i said it's really late and really tired so i'm gonna end the video here guys if you guys like the video go down and hit that like button Comment down below as well. I'm always active in the comment section. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. There's a lot of content to come. You guys don't want to miss out. And I'll see you guys in the next one.